Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome to the stage a champion of champions, Russ Jackson. When I received the call from Peter about being inducted, he said, this is the worst phone call I have to make. He said, because I don't know how many times you were involved in, in beating my Toronto Argonauts. <laughs> and then he said, well, I, I want you to know that you have been inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame. Surprised and somewhat humbled, because I think a lot of me standing here, I don't think I know, has been supported by so many outstanding teammates. It's depicted right here in front of us, and when they stood on the stage, they talked about team. And I have to talk about team, because I would not be here without all those teammates, and I share this particular night with them. I think all of us here, whether it's in the arts field or the sports field, had our supporters along the way. Our family, our friends, our coaches, even our teachers. But somewhere along the way, there is that one person at a special time that believes in you. I call them the believer. And when I went to Ottawa to play football, Frank Clare was the head coach. And Frank Clare believed that a young, jug-eared kid from a small university in Hamilton could play the quarterback position at the professional ranks. Without Frank Clare, would I be standing here today? I left football at the time I wanted to. I announced at the beginning of 69 I would be leaving after the end of the season. It was on my terms because I had other things to do. I've always considered football as my hobby and education was my profession. It's very special for me that I had over 32 years in education and had contact with so many young adults and teachers. And I hope that somewhere along the way in those over 32 years, I was the believer for some of them. I was the person who believed in them as a teacher or a student that made them go on to greater things. It's important to me that I have that feeling and have that idea that I was responsible for some of that. As I mentioned, this is a very special evening. When I received the Order of Canada back in 1970, I was too young, I think, to really appreciate what it was about. It was about Canada. And it took a few years before I realized what it was to be honored by your country. And since that time, I have loved that medal and being a member of the order. I will cherish this from the moment I walk off the stage and always consider myself as being a friend of every Canadian. And I will cherish this with my family until I take it underneath. I would like to thank my family all my teammates, and all of you people who are here tonight who have helped me celebrate this very special occasion. Thank you very much. I love you. Thank you.